If anyone asks why I bought a 4090, this is the reason. Goddamn Cyberpunk, you need to calm down. You need to calm down with this, this is ridiculous. 4090 is really rendering those cheeks. That is crazy. That is crazy! Beardo Benjo. Oh my word, it feels so good to be back in Cyberpunk 2077 VR and not be settling for 30 to 40 frames per second. <laughs> this looks absolutely phenomenal. Welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome to the first of what I expect will be many VR performance tests on my brand new 4090 PC. I've splashed out, I've bankrupt myself and uh, I've bought a PC that can hopefully ensure the smoothest, nicest looking VR content that I can physically make. Oh my lord, hello, hello, look at the details! Holy mackerel! Yeah, she's giving me the side eye. I should probably step away. Uh, okay, let's have a look at these people here. Up close. Oh, Lord! Hello, mate. Look at the smoke. Can I talk to you? Si. Hello. Hello, you alright? Oh, hello, how are you? Are you okay? I have a little can of pop. It's already open, love. We don't need to open it. I'm, uh... Can I have one of these? Yes! I'm blown away. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> what are you doing? You can't just push a man up here. Oh, it's good to see that Cyberpunk is still glitchy as always. Right, let me just do a little bit of an intro here, and then I'll start driving around, walking around, shooting stuff. Kind of, I'll have a look at the game during nighttime, during daytime, and I'll explain, of course, what my settings are currently on. Now, previously, whenever I played Cyberpunk 2077 in VR on my old rig, which was a 2080i7 32GB of RAM machine. I was settling for somewhere around kind of 32 to 40 frames per second max inside the headset. Because Luke Ross's mods... Oh, who's this guy calling me? If I don't know you, why are you calling me? So the way that Luke Ross's VR mods work, um, effectively, the frame rate you achieve on your PC as a flat game is halved for VR. So if you're achieving 100 frames per second on your PC consistently, then inside the headset it's going to be looking like 50 frames per second. Now I don't know the technical jargon and the exact reason why that is. It's got something to do with alternate eye rendering and the way that Luke achieves the 3D... Oh, this looks insane. Uh, the 3D inside these mods. But yeah, basically what you hit on the PC, what the game's running at on your monitor, is halved for VR. Who's ringing me now? Ah, oh, reject. I'm not... Nah, we're not speaking to that guy. I'm not speaking to that guy. So basically, to get a really good level of performance in Cyberpunk, you need to be hitting kind of 144 frames, ideally, on the PC, and that'll give you your 72 frames per second in VR inside the headset. It's demanding. So on my 2080, I never had a chance, and I had to drop the graphical fidelity down by a ton and the resolution down by a ton to even get close to a smooth enjoyable playable experience now now you do get used to it um when you're playing a mod like this if you're only getting kind of 40 frames per second <laughs> take that car you shit uh, if you're only getting like 40 frames per second you will get used to it eventually but it isn't ideal um and you do get quite a bit of ghosting and shimmering when you're running at that kind of frame rate but here on my 4090, i9 12900K processor, 64 gigabytes of RAM, monster PC that I've just invested in, I'm able to set everything to max. I've got crowd density right to max. I have got DLSS on, on performance to help kind of smooth out the frame rate. And I don't have ray tracing on currently, but I will check it later on in this video. I am getting the smoothest cyberpunk VR experience in here. I still don't think I'm hitting 72 frames per second. I'm probably hovering around 60, between 60 and 70. <laughs> but the difference between this and the old experience is night and day. It is phenomenal. And because 
I've got everything set to max. The details in the people and the environments are just phenomenal. I now want to spend the rest of my day playing this. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not even editing this video. I'm, I'm just going to throw it up. Unedited, messy, disgusting. Hello, children. It, oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Right. I am not a tech channel, but I am going to stick uh, a little overlay onto the recording now while I do a drive. I'm going to take a drive through Night City during the daytime. I'm going to stick an overlay at the top so you can see where the frames kind of hover between. Bear in mind, you need to half that frame rate for what's going on inside the headset. So I'll get that going now and we'll start, we'll start driving. Okay, here we go. Let's take a little cruise through Night City. Now I've put an overlay up above me somewhere hopefully it looks okay it's a very basic overlay um, but the purpose of it is to show you GPU utilization CPU utilization and then the frame rate now bear in mind you need to halve the frame rate that you're seeing up there to get an idea of what the performance is like inside the headset now cyberpunk is <laughs> just by its nature quite a taxing game and it does bounce a little bit between frame rates even playing it flat screen it's hard to get it consistent unless you really tweak the settings to find the sweet spot and tweak the resolution to find the sweet spot in VR I expect it's gonna be bouncing above a hundred um, probably 110 to 135 ish whilst I'm playing but that does translate to a very very smooth VR experience inside the headset here plus I have all the graphics maxed out except for ray tracing so I could achieve a far more consistent frame rate if I sacrificed a little bit of visual fidelity but for the sake of this video I thought let's leave it all maxed and let's see what it's like now if you're sitting there and doing the math going okay so he's getting like 55 60 frames per second let's say I'm thinking that doesn't sound great in VR <laughs> It, it looks amazing and it feels very, very smooth. You'll just have to take my word for it. Um, I did some tests last night and recorded some footage and I watched the footage back and the footage was very, very indicative of what I was seeing inside the headset. Um, it looked pretty much identical to how the game uh, was performing for me inside the headset. Now, another thing to bear in mind I'm recording this on the same PC that I'm running it on. So OBS is running on this same PC um, and I'm capturing in 1440. So that's putting a bit of extra pressure on the system as well. So if I remove that and I'm just playing for joy and playing for my own fun, then chances are I'll get, again, an even better visual. That car there is lovely. Oh, come here. No, I want that car. Don't tell me to F off, mate. I want that car, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. Okay, I'm not that fast. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Right, that is going to be my new car. Whether they want it to be or not. Um, what have we got? What have we got? Yeah, that'll do. All right, you. Out you get. I know it's a crime. Oh, and you. There we go. Come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give did you not die? Oh, you did die. It just took you a little while to figure out that you died. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Oh, yeah. That's good. Right, here we go. Off we go. Now, the benefit of having all the graphics kind of maxed up is obviously the world just looks amazing. Everything looks crisp. I can actually read the billboards. I can read everything on my dash. The kind of these advertisements really pop. The crowd density makes the world feel alive. The lighting is stunning. <laughs> it's absolutely mind blowing. And all I want to do for the rest of the day ah, is. It's not my car, it's fine. Is uh, play this game. This now feels like the VR game I always wanted it to be. Now I'm going to load up some combat in a mo. Oh, my favourite early. Oh my god. My favourite early game combat mission, just to see how that holds up in VR as well. And then we'll load into a night section. So we'll drive around at night time. And then we'll probably just go on a bit of a shooting rampage. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. You know, I can't say it feels like a native VR game because it doesn't have motion controls. But as a controller-based VR experience, it's breathtaking. 
Um, and it's finally kind of living up to what I thought it could always be. Let's blow this car up. I don't want any evidence that I stole that car. Sorry, Bumblebee. Let's get rid of you. There we go. That'll do. Another one just to really cement the deal. There we go. Lovely. Right. Now no one can enjoy it. Oh my god, this looks good. <laughs> this particular intersection. Oh, oh, oh. oh uh, yeah. I'm doing this all day. This is me now. This is me for the rest of the day. Oh, oh it's such an immersive world. I don't know where to look. Ah, yes, the combat mission I always use to test this game whenever I make a Cyberpunk 2077 VR video. At least I'm consistent, you know? At least I'm consistent. Right, let's see how the combat holds up and that kind of action holds up. Okay, I don't know what this gun is. I think it's just a... Okay, it's got a scope on it. Oh, my word. Right. Sorry, mate. It's time for you to die. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Get behind it. Load up, load up, load up. Oh, this is so good. It feels so fluid now. Get that in there. Oh, no. Over there. Oh, bugger. They're both rubbish. What else we got? What else we got? Pistol. Choose pistol. Oh, hello, lads. Oh, they're on fire. They're on fire. It just feels so fluid now. Stay down. What heal. Right, that's better, that's better. Right. Let's shoot out through the window. Oh my. Yeah, it fully feels playable now, and that sounds so silly, because I know people who have been playing it this whole time, um, but for me, this is much more enjoyable, because it's so smooth. Come on. I'm not getting the, like the chuggy frame rate. I'm not having to settle for kind of 30 FPS. You know, it still probably isn't at this point a consistent 72. But I think I could get it there. And I could get it to 90 even if I tinker with the graphics options and just drop some stuff down. I'm being very um, forceful with this video. Intentionally so. You know, I'm trying to... I'm trying to run it on max to see what it's like. Oh, it's so playable! Alright, okay. Who's over here? I can see your marker, but I can't see you. Hello? Alright, they're gone. Let's go upstairs. Close, 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 close. Oh, yeah, that's good. Stay there, mate. Stay there, mate. Oh, I love this so much. Burn them. Burn them all. Oh, burn them, burn them, burn them. Oh. Gonna go off? There we go. Oh, whoa, the flipping heck. All right, love. Calm down. Heal. She really came for me with that mallet. She's dead now, though. It's night and day. The difference between this now and, and every other time I've played with it. Yeah, just completely and utter, utterly night and day. Feels like a different game. Feels like a different game. Come on. Come on. Reload it. Mm. Now, obviously, you do need to invest... Oh, that blew up. You do need to invest a crazy amount of money to get this experience. 4090 isn't cheap. And you need to pair it with an absolutely ridiculous PSU and CPU as well. So as you're not bottlenecking the thing. Oh, no. Stay back. But if you do it, and if you take the leap at some point, just know these VR mods are going to absolutely blow your mind. Because they're blowing mine right now. Come on. Come on. Shit. Stay down, mate. Oh, you, 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 you. Where are you going? That's it. Stay in there. It's blowing my mind. I think it's a real tightrope act with something like Cyberpunk, and it's going to be really personal to everyone who plays it. Um, some people might just want that solid frame rate, so they'll be happy to drop some of the graphical fidelity. But for me, most of the joy of playing a game like this 
is having everything kind of pumped up or pumped up as much as you can without damaging the experience. And right now, I think I've got a really nice sweet spot. It feels unbelievably smooth inside here, but it also looks absolutely stunning. It's just one of the most gorgeous virtual worlds I've walked around in. I don't even really need to play the game. I can just wander about and it's... Um, <laughs> that's, it's doing it for me. Like This is all I want from this game. I just want to walk around this stunning looking world in VR and it be running smoothly, which it is for me right now. It might not be a consistent smooth frame rate if you're looking at the overlay and thinking, well, he's only getting this, but I'm happy to accept that because in here it feels so smooth and because it still looks gorgeous. I've not sacrificed anything on visual quality. The visuals are maxed out. It's just nice to be able to look at the people as well and see all the details up close and like they, they look amazing and before when I was running it kind of on medium to low and I was dropping the resolution right down to get a solid frame rate, everyone kind of looks a little bit blurry and fuzzy and you just don't get the clarity whereas here oh you dirty bastard whereas here you really do and you can get really close um you can see like the pores on their face it's you know it's it's triple a vr experience at this point um controller based triple a vr experience on the subject of a controller i am using a ps5 controller and i'm using a app on Steam called DSX, it allows you to activate the haptic triggers um, and change the way that they feed back and how strong they are, so that just adds to the immersion. For me personally, like when I'm pulling the triggers on the guns, you can feel it, it kind of pulls back against you, it's got a little bit of uh, resistance, and you can set that however you like with this DSX app. Uh, it just adds another element. Luke Ross's mods run best with a gamepad, they, they just all do. It doesn't have to be PS5, but if you've got a PS5 controller... I would highly recommend the DSX app to kind of activate the haptic triggers. Hello. You doing some graffiti? What are you writing there? No on. Wow. That's cool. No on. Political statement. You know. You tell him. Tell it to the man. I love it. She's doing absolutely nothing, but she's very proud of it. Look at her. Look at her. She's going for it. She's going mental. It's still spraying. <laughs> I like your gold legs. Night City at night time is a completely different beast. Look at all the neon signs and stuff. Right, let's have a little... Let's have a little wander down the streets at night. Oh, look at... Don't run me over. Look at it. Look at that. Fuck. I won't finish that. Or I'll finish it in a minute so I don't get told off by YouTube. Fuck. Wait for a bit. Oh, it's so nice. The game really comes to life at night. Like, just. Oh, sorry. Ah, my legs. My legs. My legs. You stupid. But let me go across the road, please. I'm trying to get over here. Oh, yeah. Just all the neon lights. Look at that big hologram up there. The reflections. This feels like home. It feels like where I want to spend all my time in VR now. Ah, my word. I know a few people who have just invested in 4090s and they are going to be blown away. I've just been revisiting games and just seeing how well they perform. Like, oh my lord. Um, I'm playing uh, God of War at the moment flat screen i'm not trying to vr it or anything like that and it's just running at a solid 144 frames per second everything maxed out oh. but what this is doing for vr is um it's next level absolutely next level hello sir lovely job you're not actually touching the uh, glass though so maybe it's not a lovely job but keep trying you'll get there eventually You'll get there eventually. The city feels far more alive than it ever did every other time I uh, played it. I think probably VR has a big part to play in that. Hello. I wonder what you're selling. Um, I think VR does have a big part to play in that. But also, this game has been updated so much. And I've upped the crowd density. Oh my lord, look at the zombies. 
Look at the zombies. Oh. Do you reckon I can take these guys over here? Or do you think they'll kill me? There's only one way to find out, really. Uh, let's get me assault rifle out. Let's shoot that there. Oh, I am doing no damage to them. That is going to end very badly. Very badly indeed. But we've got to try. Oh, no, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm doing all right here. It's going to be okay. Look at that view for a shootout. What a gorgeous view for a shootout. Oh, piss. Oh, piss. Saw that one coming. Saw that one coming. Heal, heal, heal. Throw back to them. That's it. Have that, you shits. Jesus. There we go. One down, one down, one down. Nope. Stop throwing grenades at me. There we go, there we go. Oh, nice. Lock and load, lock and load. Come on, mate. It's over. Oh, I've definitely won this. I've definitely won this. Let's get my... Let's get this little submachine gun out to finish it off. Let's get close. Let's get close. Let's finish it off. Yes! I was good enough. Makes a change. I usually die a lot in this game. It's actually so good now that I can read the, uh, the text on the dash. I can read all the numbers... Media on, power, AC, nav, off, mode, max AC, radio on, off, source, high, info, rev. I can actually read all of this stuff. Villa 4, reverse. I guess that's reverse. What's N? Neutral, and then drive. They, there's like a... What's some lights on my dashboard that I should probably get checked out here? There's a gun symbol on my dashboard. That's un abnormal. It's abnormal. I was going to say unnormal. It's abnormal for cars to have a, a gun symbol on the old dashboard. Um, yet you can get close to stuff and you can actually read what's what's written on items within the world now. Text kind of pops out. It's not um, blurry. I need to mod this. I think that's the next thing I need to do is load it up with mods. I've seen there's like a hover car mod now. You can fly around above the sea and kind of really breathe it all in because there's, there's hover cars up there but you can never actually get in them but I think there's a mod now. Um, and there are some some mods that kind of change textures. There's obviously reshades. Um, oh, Lord. Doesn't matter what you think about Cyberpunk, it's a gorgeous game. Whether you liked it at launch, you know, whether you've never tried it, but you heard all the kind of issues. And I was one of the people that was shouting out about the issues. It, it, it's always looked stunning. Like, the world building is amazing. And seeing that in VR is uh, is a treat. It's an absolute treat, mate. I like your goggles. They're very cool. What's it say on your helmet? That's just numbers. Scoot! Hey! What do you mean, scoot? See this gun? Don't think it's loaded. Is it, is it loaded? Oh, it's loaded! Oh, it was loaded. It was loaded! Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone what I did here today. That's it. Oh, who's seen me now? Oh, for God's sake. Who see me now? Is it you? That is a shotgun. Why is that a shotgun? It looks like an SMG. Oh, they're here to kill me, aren't they? No, 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 no. <laughs> run. Just run, mate. Just run for your life. Sit in here and pretend you work here. You didn't see anything. Put your gun away. That's it. I don't know what you're talking about. I just work here. I just work here. Uh, I'm a taco vendor. I sell... Tacos and uh, burgies. Please stop. Please stop. Oh no, they're not going to stop. They're never going to stop. They don't believe that I'm a burgie man. Hello. I'm going to have to kill him. I'm a lowly burger man. And I'm here to kill you. That'll do. Never start on a burger vendor. Never start on a McDonald's employee. It won't end well for you. It won't end well for you. Uh, have that. Have that, you. Have grenades. Eat these. Jeez, so much flashes. This might be the best spot to um, fight police ever. They can't take me in the burger van. You have to go out there. Get them with these. 
Ah! Ah! Eat my mantis arms! Eat them! Back in the burger van! Back in the burger van! Ah! Get him with them! Oh, I'm so gonna die! It's over! It's over! Hey, that was a pretty good burger van uh, standoff. I like that. That was fun. This woman looks like she's made of plastic. I think she might be a robot. Android something. I'm not gonna kiss your dad's bunk. Is that what you just said? I don't know what I mean. What does that mean? What does he mean anything? You fr I like your shoes, though. You don't. You can't tell me to kiss your dad's bunk and then tell me I've got a sweet face. It's weird. Right, I'm gonna leave it here. Stop it! Uh, I'm going to leave it here. The only thing I haven't tested in this video is ray tracing. I think I'm going to make a separate video for that because I don't know how it's going to perform and I haven't done any testing. Um, while the recording's running, if I flick it on and everything goes to pot, I kind of I kind of don't want to chance that. This is probably one of the most performance-intensive areas I've been into. Um, it's, but it still feels smooth as all hell and it looks visually amazing. Even if everyone inside here looks a little bit like they're made of plastic. This is phenomenal. Um, the 4090 is a ridiculous GPU. Um, like, I'm not even going to debate that. It is an absolutely, hello, absolutely ridiculous GPU. Come on in. Um, and for the price, it should be. But what it can do for VR and VR mods, I think, more so, is... Um, is a little bit mind-blowing. I want to revisit everything, you know? I want to check out those Red Dead mods again, pump everything up, push it to the highest graphical settings. Um, I want to revisit the forbidden Red Dead 2 and GTA 5 mods, and I will, even though they're forbidden, and see what they can do. But this Cyberpunk 2077 mod was really high on my list of things I wanted to check out because the game feels built for VR. You know, on a flat screen, the game's fine, but in VR, it's absolutely incredible. And every other time I've played it, I've enjoyed it, but you do have to learn to put up with 32 to 40, if you're lucky, frames per second. And this increase, even if it's just taking it to 60, sometimes 70, maybe more on occasion, it's phenomenal. It just gives you such a smoother experience. It's so much easier on the eyes. I'm getting pretty much no ghosting a little bit of shimmer around the character still but the ghosting is almost all gone um yeah i'm kind of speechless i just want to sit in here for the rest of the day and just really take it in because it is it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous you need to lay out a lot of money to see it like this but uh yeah it's absolutely gorgeous and as i've said a few times i do think Someone else said that to me earlier with the exact same voice. Um, I do think that you could get even better performance, even more consistent performance, if you're not sticking everything on the highest setting. I've done that for the sake of a test, to see what performance is like when everything's on high minus ray tracing. But if you settled for just high and not ultra, right now I'm on 2432 by 2432 in terms of resolution. So you could even drop that down a little bit and you'd get even more consistent performance. I think you could easily hit 90 or more frames per second on Cyberpunk VR on a system like this with a very good visual representation. You would just need to make some sacrifices, but if you want everything out on maxed, it's a very playable, very smooth experience. And uh, I'm absolutely enamored by it. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day playing this. Look, I've got a lot of other games I want to test out. I'm going to test out Green Hell VR. I'm going to revisit the Resi mods. I'm going to revisit the Forbidden Red Dead 2 and GTA mods. Uh, but let me know if there's any other games you want me to test out on, on a 4090 and see how it runs. Um, and see what kind of performance we can get. This feels like one of the more performance-intensive areas. But it's still very playable. Very enjoyable. And just stunning to look at. Ha! Oh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. <laughs> Fuck to death. Great. Good way to go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe. And I'll see you soon for more. I know what's in these rooms, so I probably shouldn't go around the corner. Oh, no, we're all right. They're all just jacked into sexy VR experiences. Although that baby has multiple arms. That's, ter that's a confusing, terrifying thing that's going on in there. Um... <laughs>
Let me know if you've enjoyed the video. Please do leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, and I'll see, uh, and I'll see you very soon for another one, guys. I'll be back soon with more of these tests. This is phenomenal. Take care of yourselves. See you later. Much love. Who are you on the phone to? I'm just getting started. All right, okay.